Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, share these with your friends. Hit the button below and subscribe. It's all good. It's all good. It's going to be a great day today. It is um, middle of the week. Oh, day. So it's good. Um, I have something that's totally on my heart, and it's been coming at me. Anybody else, sometimes when things, God starts working with you, they come at you from different directions, and it seems like everyone's kind of been talking about the same thing or doing the same thing, and, and I love that. And um, so it's been on my heart about fellowship, and I've kind of wove that into a few, and then I did a video about the power of the invite, and so I've been thinking on uh, relationships and the need and the things that... The, 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 the need that it's burdened on my heart that people need connection right now because it's a crazy time. I mean, it's a lot and it just is burdensome. I mean, anybody else so sick of hearing about stuff that's heavy and big and, and we just need some light. We need like, mean, meaning like well, we need the light of the world, but we need just to be unburdened by it and we need some connection, some human connection and so that's what's really on my heart that we just need each other so much. And you hear that all the time, like with this, you know, people use it as like slogans to sell things. But the truth is we are created um, to have fellowship and time with each other. And for whatever reason, you know, maybe we've been hurt or we're selfish because is it safe to say that I'm probably talking to a selfish people because I know how I am. I mean, we just go about busy about our life, but call it what it is. We're all selfish. We don't want to devote the time and the care to listening and checking in and caring about each other. We live in a in a quick world, in a social media world like, oh, we feel connected. We think the lie is if we can see them, whatever they're posting on on their social media or maybe just send a quick text because I don't really want to have to devote that much time to actually talking to another human. I mean, that's selfish. Hello, I'm guilty of it, but I'm going to call it for what it is. And we need to rise above that. We need each other now in this time, in this January. We need more than that. And we need that. And I know that because God talks about that in his word and how much we need each other. And so I'm just going to give you some scriptures. 1 Thessalonians 5 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just in fact, as you are doing. We need to encourage. So what do we do? When we're connected with one another, we're actually getting a chance to encourage one another and build each other up. So if you have the mentality, like, I got it all figured out. I don't need anybody. That's wrong. You need somebody. We all need to be encouraged and to build each other up. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10 says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. It is on my heart that a lot of people out there, a lot of people, they're falling. They're falling. Maybe they're not physically falling, but maybe in their mind, maybe, um, maybe in their faith, they're falling and they don't have because they haven't tended that and they don't have anyone to help pick them up. And they're not going to cry out because people don't do that. You know what I mean? Pride puts up this wall that we don't ask for help, but that people are falling. People that you know, people that you would never guess, they need to be picked up. They need that human interaction. And so I don't care if you've just talked to them on Facebook or because everyone's left there on whatever people left to do. They need more than that. They need to hear your voice. They need to see your face. Um, Romans 12, 10 says, Be devoted to one another in love. Honor another above yourselves. I mean, devotion, devotion to a friend, another human, people need that. I'm encouraging you in that. And then the one that we all know and we, we say a lot is, Iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. So maybe you're not falling. Maybe you're not falling down. Maybe you're not weak mentally or in your faith. But you know what? Your faith, you need to be sharpened. And you need other people around you to do that. It's what we do. We rub each other. And sometimes it's the wrong way, but it sharpens us. And it makes us better. We need that connection. So it's on my heart, the encouragement today that I am leaving you with. Call two people today. Don't text them. Don't message them. 
call them, call them. At very least, call two people. If, if everyone who listens to this reaches out and calls a couple people, you know, that's something. That's something. So call two people today, voice to voice. Even better, if you make an appointment, make a date to go have coffee or lunch. But if not, just talk to them and care about them and love on each other. So I'm leaving with you, leaving you with that, and I will talk to you tomorrow.